and welcome back to another edition of the ship tour this time we're doing the carnival celebration and we're going to start on deck 18. we're going to start it off right here where the running track is the obstacle course the basketball court the roller coaster i mean seriously all this stuff on this ship so if anybody's familiar with the mardi gras it's very similar to the mardi gras there's your basketball court right above me is the obstacle course of course that wraps around the basketball course and we are in amber cove today over here to my right you have all your seats where you can lounge around I like those little seats very comfortable and then straight up ahead right here is bolt the roller coaster that's what it looks like what you sit on and what you take off riding on on this deck as well there's the running track i'm going the opposite way so maybe that's not a good thing all right right here is the splash zone the kids splash zone all kinds of stuff water slides over here on both sides and then on the end you have your mini golf. And that's just on half the ship. And that's all there is on deck 18. Okay, coming down from 18, straight down to 17, you will find Guy's Burger. Probably the best place on the ship to eat, in my opinion, because their burgers are just that good. But this is the seating area and where you get your Guy's Burger. And this Guy's Burger has plenty of seating. Also has a little drink station where you can get teas, coffee, water lemonade whatever juices that they have that that day right here is that and then they have their ice cream right there and that swings all the way out now when you go towards the lido deck area you will find the red frog pub which is also located on deck 17. Okay, continuing on down deck 17, there is a lot of lounge chairs. I'm on the left-hand side of the ship if you are facing the aft. They do have plenty of places for people to lay out, but this is the smoking section or the smoking side. So all of these tables right here on deck 17, this is the only place besides the casino that you are allowed to smoke. So for those smokers out there and vapors, deck 17 on the left hand side towards the aft of the ship. Now, on the very back of the ship, on the aft, you will see all of these cool little seating areas. Nice comfortable little chairs for people to sit in. So let's take off and go towards the front. Okay, we are now mid-deck on deck 17 still. This is the best shot I can give you of the Lido deck. Give you a sky shot of it before we head back up to the front side of the ship. Really cool, it's got your pool, plenty of seats, hot tubs. And of course they've got their big jumbotron right there. And this is a port stop. So if you want to take advantage of the pool area on the ship, I suggest you do it when we are at port. So now we're going back up to 18. All right, so now we are at 
Serenity Adult Only Retreat. Really nice little place. It actually goes all the way up to deck 19. More lounging. And I think that's for the suites people. Don't quote me on that. But basically this is just more lounge chairs. Nicer lounge chairs. More padded. They even have some double beds. And then here is your Serenity pool area. And they also have a Serenity bar right here. towards the very, very, very front of the ship. You have more lounge chairs. And that's it. Serenity Adult Retreat Area. That is a pretty shot of Amber Cove. For those of you who have never seen Amber Cove, Okay, continuing on deck 17, right across from Guy's Burger, you have the warehouse, which is the arcade. Nice little arcade area for the kiddos and the adults like me who like playing in the arcade and then across from the arcade they are currently closed but i will show you this little place called circle c and that is for the young kids to hang out in ages 12 to 14. all right and the last thing that i will show you on deck 17 right beside guy's burger and i couldn't get over here earlier when i was filming guy's burger because they were washing the windows. But this right here is Club 02 for ages 15 to 17. And I'm sure they're closed. So, yeah. So they're closed right now. Again, we're at port, so. But this is the little area where kids can go. And it's a very big area. It goes all the way down to that sign that says 02. So really big area. And that's all on deck 17. So let's go to deck 16. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and film the Lido Market Buffet because it is packed and it is morning time, so it's breakfast time. But this is the Lido Market or Marketplace Buffet area. All right, now we are at the Tides Pool area on deck 16 in the very back of the ship, and we will start with the other ice cream zone right there and work our way around to the tides bar right here where you can get your drink on and then this is the aft pool area it's got two hot tubs it's got an infinity pool plenty of places to sit to relax This side is one of the best places to eat big chicken, or as I call it, Shaq's Big Chicken. Great place to eat. There is a downside to this Shaq's Chicken for those of you who have been on the Mardi Gras and have enjoyed their big chicken. They do not have Nashville hot chicken anymore. That destroyed me. That absolutely hurt my feelings. All right, now we're into the Lido Marketplace Buffet, where obviously you get your buffet, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Here's the little stations. They only open one station at a time. But again, this is located on the Lido deck, deck 16 as well. They also have drink stations, a beer station where you can charge your card and get a beer, craft beer, and you can also get soft drinks. And you don't have to have a drink package to get it. All you have to do is swipe your card, 
and it'll charge you per ounce that you get as far as sodas are concerned. But the coffee's free, tea's free, water's free, lemonade's free, and whatever juices that they put in their little dispenser is free as well. Now, we are on the Lido deck, and this is the bottom part of the Red Frog Tiki Bar. <laughs> And here is the Lido deck pool. Right here is your towel place where you rent your towels, get your towels. And this little area right here is where you can get your life preservers for the kiddos that you do not want in the pool without one. Okay, now on the other side of the Lido deck, you will find some food areas right here. We have sizzle, as well as steam dream right here, which is more noodles, Asian type of food. You have your time fries, which is loaded fries. It has cheese and all kinds of good stuff you want on it, chili, stuff like that. And you have the seafood shack right here. Now the seafood shack is a pay, it has the prices right there. You can get buffalo shrimp, clam, calamari, crab, lobster roe, all kinds of stuff. You can even get steamed lobster by the pound. So yeah, that's a pay for sure. And then finishing off on this side, your last little eating place on the Lido deck would be your blue iguana, which is obviously your Mexican. Really good place to eat as well. Have not eaten here yet, but I will soon. Tacos, burritos, all kinds of stuff. And it also has the topping station right here. All right, and that is deck 16, your Lido deck. Okay, and as we head down to deck eight, I will let you know that decks 15 all the way down to nine are nothing but state rooms. So let's head down to deck eight. Okay, starting on deck eight, if you go all the way towards the front of the ship that way, that is nothing but staterooms. And we are starting at the front of the ship, so let's start right here with Chabang. It is a Chinese Mexican cuisine. We ate here last night. It is not my type of food, but it was, as they said, very good. And here is Chabang. It is a free restaurant. You do have to call in and get a reservation, but you do not have to pay anything for this restaurant. All right, right here. Now this is one of the changes they made that's different from the Mardi Gras, and that is they have moved the Havana bar over here on this side. And I'll just do a quick view because I'm not supposed to be in here. That is your Havana bar. So this, <laughs> I've been calling Grand Central, is not called Grand Central, it's called Celebration Central. And this is one of their main entertainment venue areas. Really cool place. At night, they have raptors that come down that has a big giant screen where they do their shows and stuff. Really cool place. The seating is just like the Mardi Gras. If you've been on the Mardi Gras before, it's really chopped up. A little bit of seating up on deck eight, as you can see over here. I'll show you a little bit better. But, you know, the seating is not, you know, one big area like the theater. It's just chopped up in a bunch of places. It is hard to get good views from like right here. You can't really see it from this area. You can as long as you're in front of the glass, but they do their shows all the way around that entire floor area. This is where you will find your bonsai teppanyaki and your bonsai sushi. And this is a pay. The hibachi grill, it only has three hibachi tables. There's only 30 people at a time can eat in that restaurant, so it's kind of hard to get reservations if a lot of people want to eat there. Okay, moving along, you will find your jewelry shop, Effie. 
watches, jewelry, earrings, all of your gold, all of your... And again, all of the shops are closed because we are at port. I apologize for that, but it is so hard to film the ship tour when the ship is full. Now another thing that they did not change that I wish they had from the Mardi Gras of the Celebration is the elevator room. They're still very small. They still get very packed in. All right, here's your Photoshop area where you can pull your pictures. This is their little camera shop area where they sell batteries, GoPros, SD cards. They sell a lot. They're not open right now, but I looked through here yesterday. They sell a ton of Bluetooth speakers and earbuds and earphones, a lot. And that's a first. I didn't know people needed earbuds and earphones that badly. Okay, now they've changed the name to this area. They call it 820 Biscayne. And this is what you will find in this area. Okay, so this is their main entrance to Cucina del Capitano. And here is their menu. Still the same layout for the most part, but there are little subtle changes as far as the name of the bars. This one is called Bar 820. Still have their pizza place right here. I love the name that they gave it, Miami Slice. Going with that 80s theme. And then this is their Deco Deli, where you can get all of your sandwiches and stuff. Really good sandwiches, hot sandwiches. The best restaurant on either the Mardi Gras. We have not eaten on the celebration yet, so we will find out because we do have reservations. But Rudy Seagrill, an excellent place to eat. My favorite restaurant on the Mardi Gras, so hopefully it'll be my favorite restaurant on the celebration as well because it is really good. It does have indoor and outdoor seating. Okay, so they do have little ATM areas right here. They also have Carnival Adventures right here. All kinds of good stuff that you can get if you forgot it and you need it when you go to the beach. This is where you will find it. Okay, and over here to the left is guest services. This is where you can get all of your accounts and stuff taken care of. How you guys doing? This is Summer Landing, and they did change one thing when you come in here. This used to be the tobacco and liquor. As far as the Mardi Gras is concerned, they changed this to the fun shop. And it's a bigger fun shop, and it's a nicer fun shop. Have a lot of cool stuff in there. I'm probably going to try to get me a ship. But yeah, this is your fun shop where you can get all of your carnival gear. If you want to get your carnival celebration inaugural t-shirts, cups, ships, jackets, jewelry, watches, whatever. They got it right there in the Carnival Fun Shop. To my right is the brewery and Pig and Anchor, where you get your barbecue, really good barbecue here. They do have live bands at night. They also do trivia here and some games as well. And right here is your Heroes Tribute Lounge. This is where you can go over here to the flavor town get you something to drink and then come over here and chill they have tvs sports games stuff like that this cool little van here also is an ice cream machine all right so let's go out to the patio And 
this is the aft pull on deck eight. Deck eight is also where you have your outside deck that wraps around the ship. Has hot tubs right here. Also has the watering hole, which is a little bar. More seating areas, really nice little area for people to go outside. And this goes all the way down towards the end of the ship, but it does not wrap completely around because they do have a private area for cabana suites or Havana suites only. Then they have extra seating out here. Now this goes inside where the pizza place is and the sandwich place. So you can actually go through these doors right here, come outside and eat your pizza if you choose to. Really nice. All right, and here's the other side, another bar area. And that's called Bar 820, I showed you earlier. It actually goes inside and outside. And as you continue to mosey on down here, again, it will end. Now the people that we are with, they do have a Havana room. So they have access to that pool, which is dead ahead. Now I cannot get to it from here. This deck cuts off at this point. Sorry, the window's a little dirty, but if you look directly across, you will see the pool area. And that is for Havana suites and room people only. You cannot go in there if you do not have a Havana room. All right, let's go down to deck seven. So let's just go ahead and start right here on deck seven. This is obviously still Celebration Central. This is more seating areas. This is the control room for the shows. And right beside here, there's more bench seats right here, three rows of them. So you see what I mean when I say it's really chopped up area, but they do have a bar on deck seven and it's called the Aquaria. And that opens when they have shows at night. Really cool little area. Okay, so let's go check out the Havana area as soon as I can get the door open. The what? I'm a blogger, not the blogger. I wish. Okay, so yeah, here's the little pool area. Hey, good, how are you doing? Yeah, there's the pool. And it's one of those scary pools because the glass goes over the deck. Can't see it, but man, I wouldn't want to get in that pool. It's a bit scary. Golly, it is nice and cool out today. So yeah, here's the little Havana area. Okay, so at the very front of the ship, on deck seven, the Grand Spectrum Theater, which is their main theater, and it is closed right now, but I will dub in some video of the theater once I get in there. And then it also has an entrance on the other side as well. All right, let's hit the casino. So this one's called the Empress Casino. Again, set up the exact same way as the Mardi Gras. This is the smoking section has all kinds of entrances. So this is the front of the ship and it does have a left and right side entrance. Left side is the smoking section, right side is the non-smoking section. They have plenty of slot machines, plenty of table games, but man, this place gets crowded, super crowded. Every night that this casino has been open, there has been tons of people in here. Very hard to find a slot machine or a table because there's so many people in here gambling. So keep that in mind. This is also, this wraps around. It's, it's shaped like an H, but this ends the smoking section. So the smoking section is from here all the way towards that door and then all the way to where we just came in. And it also has an exit right there that exits to the Celebration Central stage. So as soon as you exit the smoking section, you will see the bar at the casino.
And then again to the right, more slot machines. And this is also where you have the cashier. Now, if you're not familiar with this carnival ship mardi gras celebration you put your card into play you can use cash but you cannot cash out on the machine you don't get tickets you don't get cash back it goes straight towards your card when you're done playing and if you want to cash out what you have on your card you go to the cashier and then give them your card and they'll cash it out there so walking through here there's your casino host more table games right here Here is another exit. And again, this wraps all the way around. Pretty much your main entrance right here. And then it also goes all the way back here. It's a big casino and it's got a lot of games, but again, the place gets really crowded. People like to gamble on carnival ships, so, and I'm one of them. All right, now we just exited the main entrance to the casino, and we will start right here for more shops. This is Island Traders, which is more carnival gear. And then right here is where they have the port side liquor and tobacco. Now we're midship and there's the midship elevators as well as the limelight lounge. There's two entrances to the limelight lounge. Alchemy bar. And then your entrance to the limelight lounge. Cool little staircase that goes down to deck six. I always found that fascinating. Moving ahead, this is where you will find Fahrenheit Steakhouse, Fahrenheit 555. And this is also a pay. Obviously, this is your steakhouse where you get your steaks and all that good stuff. Here's their menu. If you want to pause and see what they've got on their menu, there it is. And right across from Fahrenheit 555, there's Dream Studio where you can get your pictures made, specialty pictures, that kind of stuff. And then at the end of the ship, you have your Festival Restaurant, which is on Deck 7 and Deck 6. And this is your main dining room. all on deck seven let's go down to deck six they always show a menu each day of what they are serving uh, you can also get it on your carnival hub app so continuing on the rear deck of deck six is the carnival kitchen we will be here in a couple days we're doing the tailgate party carnival kitchen Thing. They've got the uh, glass smoked, so it's kind of hard to see in there, but you can kind of get a good idea of what this area looks like. And I can't remember which day we are here, but I will film that when we get to it. But yeah, we've never done this before, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. And there's your carnival kitchen where they teach you how to do barbecue, uh, pizza, cupcakes, tailgate party, like I said, what we're doing. They sell out really fast too. Continuing on, you have Emerald's Bistro right here on deck six it is a pay as well they have prices for everything so you basically just pay as you eat and moving on down you have another bar called the gateway cutting through here to the left hand side of the ship is the other part 
of the main dining room, which is the Carnival restaurant. So they still have two restaurants. One's called the Carnival, and one is called the Festival. So this is the Carnival restaurant. And not as nice as the Festival, but they serve the same foods, same menus, nothing's different, it's just extra dining room space. Moving on down, really cool little area right here. I love this. This is the first time I've seen this, so. Okay, and continuing on deck six, towards the midship is this little area. Now this has changed as well. They do have a piano over here, and they call this the Golden Jubilee. Some of the little things that you really might not pay attention to this is one of them, the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. This little art piece right here doesn't look like much, but once you get the right view of it, you will see what it is. Nice, cool little fishy. All right, moving along, you find Hip Fish Beauty and Fragrances, which sells high-end purses, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, whatever else they sell. I'm not a purse guy, so I don't know. I did see Louis Vuitton, and they do have that at the hip fish. It continues over here. The hip fish accessory, more purses, jewelry, a little bit of clothing, stuff like that. And then on the other side, also hip fish, beauty, and fragrances. Obviously, you find your shampoos, your perfumes, your makeup, all that good stuff. And as we talked about earlier, this is Celebration Central stage area. This is the bottom. Obviously, the best place to see a show because all of the seating is down on the floor and you can see everything. And this is also the embarkation floor where people get on and off the ship. Love that little car right there. All right, so one of my favorite places to go shop for food is Cherry on Top, which is obviously your candy shop. And then here is your Java Blue Cafe. This is where you get your pay coffees, your pay food. Some of it's free, some of it costs. You can get pies, cakes, cupcakes, cookies, stuff like that, cappuccinos, beverages. And then over here on this side is where you get your free coffee, teas, just like the other stations that they have. They have one right here as well. And towards the front, you will find Piano Bar, which is the Piano Bar. Finally, you will see the Punchliner Comedy Club. And they are having an event right now, but this is where you will go to your adult comedy right here the punchliner finally on deck six where you will find your cloud nine spa and your cloud nine fitness center right here
And this is your Cloud9 spa, salon, thermal suite. We'll not go in there because that is private. But that's where you will find all of your spa treatment, hair stuff. Now, for those of you who don't know, this does have a secret entrance to the theater. And it's this little hall that wraps around on deck six and goes all the way through. All right, so here's the theater. got that new car smell to it too. Oh, I love that new car smell. Yeah, so there's your theater. Look at there. Just to give you an idea of how long this ship is, if you go through the halls, this thing goes a long way. All right, and finally on our tour on deck four, there is Camp Ocean, which is your kitty area. This is where you will find all of your ages from zero to 11. Got its Dr. Seuss area. And that is Camp Ocean. And here's a quick tour of the elevator. I'll do a 360. <laughs> There's your elevator Death tour. <laughs> it's so small. There's certain areas that you can't film unless you get permission because the kid areas you cannot just go inside and film it because obviously there's kids in there and you can't film kids. The cloud spa area is the same way. They won't let you just go in there and film. Other vloggers get special permission and are able to do that. Good for them. I am not one of them. All right guys so that is the tour of the carnival celebration. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am tired. I have been up and down this ship there's so much on this ship for all ages so many bars so many places to eat a lot of free places to eat thank you guys so much for watching i sure do appreciate it hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that share button you know the drill i appreciate everyone who has subscribed and if you had not subscribed yet please do it costs you nothing and it helps my channel out so much i love doing it i hope you love watching it so thank you guys again so much for watching my channel the vacation voyagers minus one voyager because she's out laying out right now but yeah i'm gonna go to amber cove and go do some shopping now so peace and love and i will see you on my next tour bye guys <laughs>